Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. So today's video is all about the cozy releases for December. Yes, I know that I am a little late in it. You guys have been amazingly patient and fantastic. Um, life has been busy like it is for most of you all as well. I have been up since about 4.30 this morning. Alex decided you know, it is the weekend, but I still want to get you up super early. So, uh, I've been up since then. We did tummy time and we read him his, uh, we read Hop on Pop this morning. Um, this is my second cup of coffee. Um, and then Cleo is, is saying hello. Hi, Cleo. Um, Today's kind of fun because um, I know that this is totally not uh, the cozy mystery releases right now, but uh, Aaron and I have this date that we do twice a year. Our very first date, we went to this place called Purple Glaze where you get to paint ceramics and then what happens is um, they, they, they make sure that they, oh my goodness, what's the word for it? Um, they heat them up and make sure that they're set and a uh, kiln that's the word um and we did that for our very first date and like four and a half years ago and then we went and had um uh frozen yogurt and that was the best first date i have ever had and then uh we did it again six months later on december 6th and we made ornaments and so that has been a tradition for us to do twice a year once on june 6th on our first date and then on december 6th and then this is the first time that we're going to take alexander and what's really awesome about this place is they're very very um sanitized they don't allow too many people in at all everything is sanitized before you even touch it um they're very very um good about that and so we feel safe enough to go we don't go any other places really at all and this is the first time we've ever taken alex like into a real place like for longer than popping into a store and out so excited to see how that's gonna be um we might end up alex might be like no man we don't like i don't like it here and he might freak out and we might not finish but it's gonna be fun to try but let me take a a sip of my coffee uh my nespresso machine guys i am literally in love with it so much i love it it's just it makes the perfect little crema at the top and Cleo is gonna knock over all of my stuff on my desk. Hello Cleo. Yes, you just, you do you. Okay. Mmm. So good. So, um, the first four books that I have are already out and of course you guys know I'm going to link it down below and you guys can go and dive deeper into them if you will. So, uh, the very first book I have is, it's called the First Edition Library Mystery Series by Marty Wingate, and this is Murder is a Must, and remember all these books are within the first, second, or third um, in the series, so Murder is a Must is in is the second book in this series. And it says, um, you know, our main character Haley Burke is determined to make the library a success. Um, she wasn't expecting to have to solve an old friend's murder. Um, and she is sort of juggling multiple things at once. She's the curator of Lady Fowling's collection of first edition mysteries. How cool of a job is that? Um, she is settling into her new position at the first edition library in Middle Bank House. She's even made progress uh, with Lady Fowling's former secretary, the Honorary Mrs. Woolgar. I'm all about Honorary women. They crack me up. Um, uh, the women are busily preparing for an exhibition that will showcase Lady Fowling's life and letters. Haley knows that the uh, exhibition is a huge undertaking and decides against her better judgment to hire Ona um, Atherton, her former boss from the Jane Austen Center, with helping the planning. Um, she's known for being really, really difficult and, um, wanting to get her way, but everything seems to be going pretty good until, uh, she and Haley uncover a one page letter that alludes to a priceless edition of Murder Must Advertise, signed by some of the most golden ages authors. Um, 
and Ona feels like this could be the center point of the collection, which is, um, you know, pretty true, but she comes, becomes obsessed about finding it. When they start to find clues that point to the book being somewhere in the first edition library, she, Ona is certain that she can unravel the mystery and texts Haley with the good news. But upon arriving back in Middle Bank, um, Haley finds her old boss dead at the bottom of the stairs. And so she must sort of, uh, you know, talk about her reputation with her boss and making sure that people know that there are no ill will and then also trying to figure out what happened and was it some angry shadow from her past. So that is Murder is a Must um, by Marty Wingate. The second book I have is by Amanda Flower. This is Courting Can Be Killer. I love the feisty goats on the front of this cover. Oh, Courting Can Be Killer is the second book within this uh, series. It's an Amish matchmaker mystery series. It says between minding or <laughs> yeah, minding a pair of rambunctious goats, uh, meetings with her quilting circle and matchmaking, Millie Fisher has plenty to keep her busy through her golden years. But the witty widow also always makes time to solve the odd murder. Um, it says some Amish men don't know what's good for them. Uh, that's what Miller, Millie Fisher told herself when young Ben Bowman set his heart on marrying Tess Lieb. With Tess's father refusing to give his blessing and Tess's ex-boyfriend being a wet blanket, the hapless couple was bound to butt heads more than uh, Millie's Boer goats. But when Ben tragically dies in a mysterious fire, Millie wonders if someone in her hometown of Harvest, Ohio wanted Ben out of the wedding picture altogether. Bum, bum, bum. So if you like um, those kind of matchmaking, uh, feisty um, kind of murders, you might try uh, Courting Can Be Killer. The next one I'm super, super excited for because I have read everyone in this series. This is the Village Library Mystery Series by Elizabeth Span Craig. And it's the next book in the series and it's called Hush Hush. This is book four in the series. Um, it says it's hard keeping secrets in small towns, which it very much is. At first, librarian Ann Beckett is delighted her director hired another full-time staff member. The Whitby Library is a busy place and another librarian should make life much easier. Should. Instead, she soon discovers that the new hire, Ellie, seems to be bent on creating issues instead of solving them. When she's found dead at the library, nobody is as shocked as they might have been. With time running out and, the, and a desperate killer on the loose, Anne starts uncovering all the secrets Ellie was trying to keep. Hush, hush. Title drop. I'm... I'm already ordering that one. So, um, yeah, super excited about that. Here is a Christmas uh, sort of themed cozy. This is a Cat Cafe mystery series, A Whisker of a Doubt by Cat Conte. I think that that is how you say um, her last name. So this is the fourth book in the Cat Cafe mystery series. It says it's promising to be a picture perfect Christmas at New England's favorite cat cafe, but instead of jolly old St. Nick, residents are being visited by murder. Um, the holiday season is on Daybreak Island, uh, is a mixed bag for Maddie James. On one hand, um, her Christmas spirits is in the doghouse after breakup, but on the other hand, she's busy enough that she doesn't have to pretend to be Mary. Business at her cat cafe is booming and Maddie's caretaking of a feral cat colony in one of the area's wealthiest communities is all only helps her bottom line. I love the fact that it is, has cozy companions in it, guys. But tensions between homeowners and animal activists are escalating to catastrophic levels. And before long, a body is found in a snowbank. <laughs> to prove that her accused friend is innocent of the crime, Maddie will have to prowl the island for clues to the real killer. Bum, bum, bum. But it's perfect for December if you guys want to go and grab it. It is already released. The final book that I have found is Murder Can Haunt Your Handiwork. This is a haunted craft fair mystery by Rose Prezi. And this comes out on December 29th. And it, I mean, it looks super cute. This is the third book in the series. It says a Guild Age ghost, a Gilded Age ghost helps psychic painter Celeste Cabot catch a killer. I am so down for a psychic 
painter and a ghost all in the same time that just sounds flippin' fantastic. And then look at that little chihuahua, 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 chihuahua. I know how to say it, but my mom calls it a chihuahua, chihuahua. Um, rising up against the beautiful backdrop of the Blue Ridge Mountains, the B Biltmore Estate is a magnificent mount mansion in Asheville, North Carolina. Built as a summer home for George Washington Vanderbilt II. Yes, those Vanderbilts during the Golden Gilded Age. Nowadays, it's the site of the annual craft fair. Unfortunately, it's also about to become a crime scene. Celeste is hard to miss as she pulls up with her pink and white Shasta trailer and adorable Chihuahua Van Gogh. Van, for short. How cute is that? How cute is that? But before she can show off her artwork at the fair, a tour guide is found strangled by a velvet rope barrier and a valuable painting goes missing. With rogues, with a rogues gallery of sketchy suspects, Celeste uh, welcomes the help of a pair of handsome detectives and a ghost with a special interest in the case. Ooh, is it the ghost's portrait that is stolen? I wonder. So. Those are the Cozy Mystery releases that I found for December. Did I miss any? Um, let me know down below. You know, everybody wants to go and find all of the ones that are coming out. Um, that's the end of this chapter of Court Tagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.